All right, now that we've discussed logical truth and tautologies, we can talk about logical and tautological equivalence. Now, two sentences are logically equivalent if they are true or false under the same circumstances. That is to say, they have the same truth condition. And two sentences are tautologically equivalent if they have the same pattern of T's and F's in their respective truth tables. Let's look at an example of a tautological equivalence before looking at some logical equivalences that are not tautologically equivalent. If we hearken back to our Venn diagram in the earlier video, we'll notice that every tautology is also a logical necessity, but not the other way around. And likewise, every tautological equivalence is a logical equivalence, but not the other way around. Now, in an earlier video, we saw this equivalence, which is one of the De Morgan's laws. And we can show that this equivalence holds and is a tautological equivalence by putting the whole thing into a truth table. Let's start by filling out the conjunction in the not A and B side, so the left-hand side of the equivalence, which is true in the first row and false in the remaining, since at least one of them is false in the other rows. But the main symbol here is the negation sign, which again has the fewest, which is to say no parentheses around it and isn't trumped by a binary connective. So we flip these values. Moving to the right-hand side, let's write out the values for not A and not B, just to make this clear. Again, these are just flipped around A and B as they appear in the left-hand column here. Now in the first row, this connective will come out false because both not A and not B are false. But in the remaining rows, at least one of them is true, and so this disjunction will come out true. And there you have it. The column under the main connective for the left-hand side and the column under the main connective for the right-hand side have identical patterns and are therefore tautologically equivalent. But there are logical equivalences that are not tautologically equivalent, and we can give an example of one of these, which we can't show is a logical equivalence using a truth table. So here are two sentences. A is large and A equals B, and B is large and A equals B. These are logically equivalent because they have to be true in all the same circumstances, which is to say they have the same truth conditions, but they don't have the same patterns of T's and F's in their truth tables. Let's see this in action. I hope you don't mind that I've written LA and LB for A is large and B is large just to save space. Okay, let's assess these then. A equals B is true and so is large A in the first row, so that comes out true. In the second row, it comes out false. In the third true, and all the rest of them are false. Now B is large in the first row and A equals B in the first row, so that's true. And it's also true in the fifth row, but all the rest of them are false. Well, when we compare these, we can see that they're not at all the same. They're the same on the first row and they're the same on the second row, but on the third row and on the fifth row, they're not. Although these sentences are logically equivalent, which is just to say that they have to be true in the same circumstances, because if A equals B and A is large, then B must be large as well, they don't show up in our truth tables. So truth tables can tell you that something is a tautological equivalence, but they can't show you that it's not a logical equivalence. Part of the reason for this, if you're curious, is that equals is itself not a logical symbol at all. It's a predicate, as we discussed earlier on in the course. So in sum, Two sentences are logically equivalent if they have the same truth conditions, and they're tautologically equivalent if they have the same patterns of T's and F's in the truth tables under their main connectives.